Last night on 2 News at 10, we told you how two Missouri racers in town for the Tulsa shootout had their race trailer stolen. A Tulsa woman thought she saw or she saw the story this morning and now the racers have their trailer back. 2 News reporter Joe Hinkley live at the Tulsa Fairgrounds after talking with the racers in the last half hour. Joe, good news here. Well, Karen, here is the trailer back at the Tulsa Fairgrounds, and right now it's in line as racers are moving into the River Spirit Expo Center and setting up for the races, which start later this week. Now, when the trailer went missing yesterday, inside was racer Quinn Jones' race car. It's the only car, he tells me, he's ever used during his 10-year career. He tells me having the trailer and his car inside back in his possession makes it simply the happiest day of his life. Also in the trailer when it went missing, his 9-year-old cousin's safety gear that he uses for racing. Uh, yesterday, Quinn Jones was able to get a replacement car, but he said without the safety gear back in their possession, his nine-year-old cousin was going to have to sit out for the Tulsa shootout this year. But both of them able to race. They're going to be in the Tulsa shootout this weekend. Now, if you have a trailer like this of your own, uh, coming up on 2 News at 10, I'm going to show you how you can protect it and also help police if yours goes missing and helping them re eventually, hopefully, recover it for you. Right now, live at the Tulsa Fairgrounds, Joe Thank you. Two news works for you. All right, thank you, Joe. Well, police arrested a man and woman today in a separate trailer theft. Two news on the scene when officers had the suspects in handcuffs. Police tell us the victim actually ended up driving behind his stolen trailer and followed it for a minute before finally calling police. The victim calls the odds of just happening to see his stolen trailer one in a million. It's very unlikely, but I can tell you that whenever I pulled out and I was behind him, the guy was real worried about it. He kept looking in his side mirror. He noticed me or my truck pulling out of the office. Now police caught up with the suspects on I-44 near Catoosa. In addition to driving a stolen vehicle, officers say they also found meth on the suspects. A hearing is passed.